Hello everybody. In this video, we will be discussing about the basic idea about coding and how to write part programming for the simple component. Starting up with the G code, G code represents the motion code whether in linear or circular motion in rapid or feed. Next one is M code. M code is miscellaneous code generally used for switch conditions like we can use it for spindle start, spindle stop, coolant on, coolant off. Next is T code. T code is used for tool identification or tool change. Yes code is for spindle speed like how much RPM we require to rotate the spindle. Yes code is feed rate whether in inches per minute or mm per minute. We need to decide the unit in the programming itself. The next is we will be discussing about the G codes which are very basic which are just required for the part programming which I will be discussing later. The first one is G00. G00 represents rapid linear motion. G01 represents feed linear motion. G02 circular motion or interpolation in clockwise direction. Next is G03 circular motion or interpolation in counterclockwise direction. Before starting the part programming, let me give you an example for locating a point in XY coordinates. If you see this diagram, we have positive X and positive Y. I have marked a point A and I need to write the location of that point A with respect to X and Y. If you see this point A is 4 units away from O in X direction. That is O is origin here. So point A is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units away from the origin in X direction. So, I have mentioned here x4. And then point A is 1, 2. 2 units away from the origin in y direction. So, I have written here y2. This representation I have written, like I am writing this representation, I am locating the point A in absolute coordinate system. So, this name of the coordinate system is absolute coordinate system. So hope you have understood the basic idea about coding. Now let us start up with the part programming of the figure which is mentioned clearly in this page. I have drawn it clearly mentioning the dimensions of it. It is very very simple. Before we start this part programming let me explain this is a uh, like we need to get the shape we need to cut the sheet in this particular shape so before starting the part programming let me tell you the basic directions if the tool is moving in the right direction it is positive x if the tool is moving in negative direction that is left side we call it as negative x upward positive y downward negative y. So this is the basic coordinate system which we need to know. And coming to the next thing about y direction. If the tool is moving upward like away from the uh, specimen then it is positive. When it is going towards the specimen it will be negative. But the surface of this sheet it is z0. Now for this cutting we are using a cutter tool of diameter D20. Let us start with the programming. First I have written N01. N01 is a sequential code or a block code just to, for identification. So if you are uh, just saying N01 it identifies the total block. So N01, N02 these are just the identification or the sequential for identifying the blocks. Next code is G71. 
G71 is a selection of metric system. So, G71 is the selection of metric system. G90. G90 is a selection of absolute system. I have already explained you what is absolute system. So, G90 is a selection of absolute system. G94 is feed rate in mm per minute. So, I have already told you we can take the feed rate in mm per minute or inches per minute. So, we have selecting here the feed rate with a unit mm per minute. Let us start the part programming. Let us go to the next step. G00. G00 is a rapid linear motion. So, G00 x minus 20 y0. So, the tool is somewhere here, minus, this is 0, 0, x0, y0, this point is x0, y0. So, the tool is somewhere here. So, the tool is somewhere here, we are locating the tool. Next is g0, 0, z10. So, the tool is moving away from the surface of the specimen. So, it is z10. Next is G01. G01 is feed linear motion. G42. G42 is the cutter compensation. This is very very important. For now, let me explain what is this cutter compensation. The tool is here. Any tool. It cuts the component with reference to the center of the cutter. If it is cutting in this direction, but this tool is having a diameter of 20. So, what happens to the tool? Like, if the tool is moving like this, if the tool is moving like this, this part also cuts off. Then, the specimen according to the given dimensions will not be obtained. So, what we need to do? We need to move the tool in right direction. So, the tool comes down and the tool location will be like this. So, the tool will be moving in this particular direction so that we can obtain the final output as per the specified dimension. So, this is G42. G42 is tool cutter compensation in right. So, this is right direction. So, what is the tool diameter? Diameter of the tool is D20. So, it moves with 10 radius. Next is Z minus 10. Z minus 10. This is depth of cut. Minus 10 is the depth of cut. S1000. S1000 is a spindle speed. F200. Feed 200 mm per minute. M03. M03 is spindle start. Next, we will move to the next. Now, we are going for the position G01. This is feed linear motion. Z0, Y0. So, the tool have moved to this point. Z point 0.1, Z0, Y0. Now, from 1, it has to move to 2. See, point 1 is x0, y0. What is this point then? This is 0, x0, y0. So, this is the origin. So, if, if we want to locate this point to this point. So, the x is 80 plus 10, 90. And y is 0. So, we have written, like we are writing here, g01, x90. So, x0 it has been changed to x90. But y is same. y is y0, y0. So, we need not write it again. It takes from the previous code. It is a nodal code. If we are not mentioning the coordinate, it takes the previous one. Next, we need to move from point 2 to point 3. So, here g01, x90, y90. This is origin, this is 90, 
x x is 90 y is 90 next g 0 1 x 80 y 100 so if you are seeing this x is 80 and y is 100 x is 80 y is 100 all are g 0 1 code so every code is a linear feed so we are using all g1 codes as it is a very simple program we need like most of the codes here are g01 so next from point 4 to point 5 we are moving here if you are seeing this it is 10 like this is x0 from here the radius is 10 so the point 5 is uh, 10 mm in the direction of x from the origin so x10 and y100 So same I have written here x ten y hundred. Now it is not a linear motion; it is a circular interpolation. But in which direction? Like this is clockwise. This is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise direction. So we have to use the code G zero three for anti-clockwise direction. so for anti clockwise direction we need to write the final position what is the final position so the point is moving like the tool has to move from point 5 to point 6 what is point 6 coordinate x 0 y 90 so you need to write that point and just specify the diameter g 0 3 x 0 y 90 with the radius 10 if you are not interested to write the radius you have one more thing that is i j i is the x position from the initial point and y is j is the y position for the final point now let me tell you the the uh, point which is been so if we are not interested to write r radius you can use i and j i is x position from start point j is y position from start point so if you are seeing the center what is the distance of the center position from the start point like here if you see from the origin the center and the start point both have the same number so i is 0 if you see the y position y position of the center and point 5 they are changing what is the dimension between these two the dimension between these two is r r is 10 then y is minus 10 so the center is below 5 it is going downward so we have to write minus 10 next so we will have a circular interpolation with anti clockwise direction now what we need to do we need to just uh, like the tool here it is in point 6 now we need to just move it to point 1 so what is point 1 point 1 is x0 y0 so i am using g01 it is a linear interpolation feed x0 y0 now g40 g40 is the code used for cancelling the tool compensation so first we have used the tool compensation here like tool is moving with some compensation towards the downward direction right direction so we are cancelling that next we are going for the rapid movement linear movement that is x minus 20 y 0 so again it is coming back to its position next g 0 0 z 20 it is moving above the plate surface of the specimen after that we are just stopping the spindle rotation Over. Thank you.